Hello, proximity measures for mixed attributes will be discussed today. In real life, data points will most probably be having mixed type attributes and sometimes some values might not be present in all the data objects. So here in this example, we can see that this is a categorical attribute belongs to class. So we have different names of classes. We could also call it a nominal attribute. Then we have the numeric age and income, which is an ordinal type of attribute. So to handle mixed attributes, we process them all together and obtain a single analysis. Distance computation. How do we do it? Here we see a sample of this mixed attributes. The nominal attribute first, then the numeric and then the ordinal. So to compute the dissimilarity value for a pair of data points ij, we aggregate the attribute wise proximity. Attribute wise, if it is nominal, then what is the distance between these two? Numeric. So this is what we mean by the attribute wise proximity. And then to combine all these individual proximity values, we use a parameter delta. Now this delta is defined as follows. Delta ij for points i and j for the vth attribute is zero if the measurement for the attribute v is missing in any of the two data points or so there are two cases when this would be zero or if v is a binary asymmetric attribute and the measurement is zero for both the points which we can recall from a previous video on binary attributes that for binary asymmetric attribute, if both the measurements are zero, we do not want to count it in the distance computation. So other than these cases, delta ijv is one. So what is dij between the distance between data points i and j? It is the summation over all the attributes v from one to p, where p is the number of attributes in the data point delta ijv multiplied by the dijv this divided by the summation of the deltas now what is this dijv what we mentioned about the distance between attributes attribute y wise so dijv is computed as follows for numeric v here we have an example where we have the numeric attributes. So dijv is the value for the ith data point and the value for the jth data point. The difference is computed and the absolute value of the difference divided by the difference of max and min of this vth attribute where we have this index h running over all non-missing objects so we have already mentioned that some objects may not have a value for the given attribute so those data objects we would be skipping and we would look at the other uh, objects other data points and compute the max and the min so here in this example, we don't have any missing objects uh, for this attribute numeric. So the max is 64. So this is our max and the min is 22. Okay, So that would be used for the distance. For the nominal or binary. This dij is 0 if the values match. So if the values for the ith and jth data point match for this v attribute, then the distance is 0, otherwise it is 1. So here we have a nominal attribute and 
So if we look at these two data points, so the distance is 1. But for the first and the last, where both the data have the value as class A, then the distance would be 0. So this was for the nominal. And the same would happen for the binary. Now for the ordinal, we proceed by computing rank, then the normalized rank and treating as numeric as discussed in our previous videos. So here we have this income, which is of uh, ordinal uh, attribute type. So we have three ranks. We can see low, medium, very high. So low, so we would put them as one, two, three ranks one, two, three, and then normalize them. Now we look at a complete example with three types of attributes. So we have V equal to three. Our V was indexing through one and three would be the last. Now there are no missing attributes in any object. As we can see this, for the three attributes, all the data points have filled values. So delta ij would be, and we do not have any binary asymmetric attribute also. So delta ij is one for all the computations. So this particular example, where we have one nominal attribute, one numeric and one ordinal, and no missing values in any data point, our delta ij would be one for all the computations. So we can proceed here by computing the dij, this dij for the first attribute, for the second attribute, first attribute is considering the nominal, second considering the numeric and third as the ordinal and we get these values. The Method of computations are same as discussed in our previous videos in this playlist. So this is for the uh, nominal, for numeric and ordinal. And for the aggregation, we would uh, take delta ij1 for all the values. So in such cases, it actually becomes only the straight average. As we can see here, this is 1 plus 0.55 plus 1. So Aggregated divided by 3, we get this value. So, this is the overall dissimilarity matrix for our example, which had three types of attributes nominal, numeric, and ordinal. Since there was no missing value for any data object, we could compute the individual distance matrices considering the nominal, considering the numeric, and considering the ordinal, and then take the overall average now we take we take this example where we have a case of missing attribute and also an asymmetric binary attribute this is a very small example to illustrate what you have mentioned earlier so we note here that the data point d1 has a missing value so when we compute the distance between d1 and d2. So this delta would be 0. So we look at our the distance formulation which we had written earlier that this is the delta the delta for the first attribute this one for these two. So here this is 1. So this delta is 1 but this delta value is 0 because of the missing attribute. So we put a 0 here and here again it is 1. So these are the delta values. Now we sum up the delta values in the denominator. So this 1 is here, this 0 comes here and 1 and 1. And this 0.75 is nothing but the numeric 35 minus 20 divided by the 35 minus 15 because that is the max and min. So we have 0.75. It is a very simple example. So you can check the computations yourself. So our value comes to 0 0.916. Similarly, when we look at D1, D3, D1, D3, 
again our delta value is zero so for the the second distance value so we are not concerned with what is inside because we are multiplying it with zero and see for the asymmetric binary here we get a delta one because these are not both zero so the distance is one here again here also for the asymmetric binary delta is one and the distance is also one so we get the total distance computation as 0 0.83 now we look at d2 d3 here we do not have the missing attribute so our delta for the second attribute here is 1, not 0, like the previous two cases. However, look at this. Because of both zeros, our delta is 0. So, we get a feel of where our delta value, which is the aggregating parameter, becomes 0 where we have missing attributes so this one and this one where we have asymmetric binary attribute with both zeros this one so we get an overall uh, computation of 0 0.58 for the d2 d3 so we could create the dissimilarity matrix for this small example as the distance between d1 d2 is 0. 916 this value is again 0 then we have 0 0.83 we have 0 0.58 and 0. So this brings us to the end of the discussion on the distance computation for mixed attributes and I hope uh, it is really clear to you and in case of any doubts or any other examples, please reach out to me. We would be happy to discuss more such examples. Thanks for watching. Thank you.